In this video, we will be going over chart trading in MotiveWave. MotiveWave provides several convenient ways in placing orders via the chart. This video will focus specifically on placing trades via the price axis. Please refer to the other chart trading videos in regards to specifics of the other methods available. As we move our cursor over to the right, you'll notice it turns into a target. And to the left of the target is a price label that changes as we move up and down the price axis. This reflects the current price that the cursor is at. Now by default, with no keys pressed on the keyboard, it will be a limit order as shown by the label underneath the cursor saying LMT. If we're below price, it would be a buy limit. And as we move above price, it will change to red and become a sell limit. You can change the default order type of limit to several other types of orders by pressing a specific key. So in this case, if we wanted to change our order type from limit to stop, we would hold down the control key on a PC. And on a Mac, we would hold down the command key. And you'll notice now that the LMT label changes to STP, which means stop. And now that we're above price, this becomes a buy stop. And now that we're below price, this becomes a sell stop. If we let go of the control key and then use the shift key, it will then change to a market order type. So underneath price or below price, this now becomes buy at market. And if we move above price, it becomes sell at market. Now MotiveWave will also allow us to change the keys. So in this case, the price axis key modifiers, right now, no key is limit order, but we can change the order to that specific key. So for instance, if I wanted to change by default to have a stop order, I can go ahead and change that. The same for the shift key, the control key. Now you'll also notice that the control shift key by default is set to none, but we can also assign this key combination to a specific order type. So in this case, if I wanted to, I could do a limit plus stop limit click apply, click OK, and now if I click on my control shift keys, you'll notice that it shows limit, stop, limit. If I click, I now get a limit with a stop and a limit. OK, let's cancel that. Now let's place an order by left clicking. I'm just going to go with a default limit, so a sell limit. Now when I click, you'll notice that though the order is placed on the chart, it's not submitted to the broker. You would have to click on T for transmit to transmit the order to the broker or D for discard if you decide to change your mind and remove the order. So let me bring up an orders panel here so we can see what's going on. So if I click T for transmit, the order has now been transmitted and I can change the levels as, as I want. Now you'll notice as I change the levels, it will automatically transmit. And that is because under configure preferences, under orders, I have auto submit modified order selected. If I don't have this selected here, and now let's just cancel this. Let's place an order again. Transmit the order. You'll notice now if I move it, it won't auto submit. I have to retransmit it in order for it to submit. So auto submit is by default. If you want to turn that off, then you can, as I just showed you via, via the configure preferences menu. So let's cancel this. Let's just place an order on the chart. Now this time I'll try buy limit. Now if I right click on it before transmitting it. I have some options here. I can change the quantity. Now the default quantity will be designated to this order. Let me bring that back up. In this case this is 10 and that's getting that from the, if I right click at an instrument, from the instrument order presets. So for here for Apple I have a default quantity here of 10. These specific order presets here, these are local to the instrument and they override the global presets which are found under configure order presets. So in this case for any stock, 
um, my default quantity would be 10. So this would apply for any stock or equity unless I change it specifically for that instrument as shown here before. Okay, so let's get out of that. Let's go back and just place the order on a chart without transmitting it. So we can change by selecting any of these order presets. We can discard the changes or cancel all. Or we can bring up the order ticket. Now we can also bring up the order ticket by double clicking on the order. Now being that it's not transmitted, I still have the option to change the type. So I can change this to market type, for instance. I can change the expiry. I can change the quantity. I can change the account. And if I want, I can attach orders, in this case a limit and a stop. And if I were to click Submit, I'll get a warning here. Now, if your broker does not support OCO orders, this just simply tells us that MotorWave needs to be running in order to simulate the OCO. So we click OK. And now we see that we have the orders on the chart. Now at the top here, I have the ability to show orders or to not show orders. So in this case, I turn it off and I don't see the orders. I can also show the trade history, any history I've had on this specific symbol as far as trades will show. If I hover over the specific history or order, it'll give me some details as seen here and here. We can also access trade functionality via the price access by right clicking on it and then clicking on trade. And here you'll see a list of supported order types by your broker. So you, from here you can then go ahead and select any type of order that you want. Okay, so that's it for chart trading via the price axis and we'll see you in the next video.